And welcome everybody here in Twitch chats and everybody on YouTube for the return of Torbran Sacrifice. You may remember this deck from last Tuesday that we played it um, and had it, had some good success with it. It was a lot of fun to play. I know y'all on YouTube really liked the video and a lot of people with the comments said they wanted to see the deck in rank. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to go ahead and play it in rank. Um, we haven't had the most success today, but I think Torbran Sacrifice is going to get... Uh, get it all back for us. So we'll play five matches over there. So how this deck works is it's just regular Rakdos Sacrifice for the most part, but with a little twist. We have Torbran in here that says that any of our red sources that deal damage to an opponent or one of their permanents, it would do an extra two damage. And that's really important because, mostly because of Mayhem Devil. Whenever we'd sacrifice a permanent, Mayhem Devil is the thing that's doing one damage to any target. But if we have Torbran in play, it's only doing three damage. So we get to Lightning Bolt a lot of things. That's why we're going with our Lightning Bolt sleeve, because of course the Lightning Bolt's three damage. We also have a card like Judith. Um, whenever our creature dies, Judith does the one damage. Well, if we have Torbrand in play, now Judith is doing three damage as well. Then we have a couple other things like Dreadhorde Butcher gets to do some extra damage with Torbrand. Chandra's um, elemental creature tokens can be basically like three ones. Heartfire can do six damage and so on. So we get to do some extra damage here, but our man is kind of tough with playing the triple red spell. Um, somebody over in, in YouTube did did say that we could replace e an Evolving Wilds with a Lotus Field. And Lotus Field would be two sacrifice um, triggers for the Mayhem Devil. And then it would give us the triple red for Torbran. And that's pretty interesting. I don't think I'm going to do it, though, with just 24 lands. Because Lotus Field can't be your first or second land. It has to be a later land. Um, and so it's a little risky having like a, if you have like a, a two land hand where one of your lands is Lotus Field, you just have to mulligan because you can't, you just can't even play it unless you have two other lands in play. So I'm, I'm not going to, I'm not going to do that, but that's a pretty interesting one to kind of think about as we play through the league here. Um, last time I really loved Immolation Shaman. This card was an all-star, you know, again with Torbrand, it does even more damage, but there's a lot of Jun Sacrifice decks and... You know, you get the trigger every time they activate their artifact, every every time they activate their um their witch's oven. Um it doesn't it I thought it I thought it would, but it doesn't, I guess. Some somebody in chat was saying before that that it doesn't trigger when it with uh, cauldron familiar. Because cauldron familiar is in the graveyard and so it doesn't count as a creature. So that's unfortunate. But still triggers with those witches ovens. And castles and all that kind of stuff. All right, but let's go ahead and get started. Let's go and play some matches over in Ranked. And let's get our, our rank back. Grixis Kicker is, is basically like the the historic Grixis Control that we've been playing, but it with an emphasis on Kicker spells because the, the spells with Kicker with, um, with Field of the Dead work incredibly well. Because you can, uh, if you have the mana to pay the kicker cost, you can play your spell for free with Field of the Dead, and then uh, simply just use tap your lands for the kicker cost, and you get that. Could be a mirror match. Nope. They can put a gutter bones back in their hand and then recast it. But basically doing that so they don't get to just have a, you know, deal four damage to me, put their counter on Knight of the Ebon Legion, cast something else that, that obviously they wanted to cast something else with them not attacking with the Knight of the Ebon Legion as well. Are 
Yeah, sure. Fires of Invention. I guess I said Field of the Dead earlier. Yeah, Fires of Invention. Alright, this doesn't look good. Cauldron Familiar would be a great draw just to be able to have a continual blocker for Riding Regisaur. Just lethal. Hmm. Shoulders feeling better today. Yeah. Shoulders definitely feeling better today. I'm not changing too much. We're just going to try to draw a better mix of lands and spells. Um, hopefully not have the opponent have Rotting Regisaur or Embercleave. But I don't, I don't hate this matchup for like what we have here. I don't, I don't think this is too bad. I think Embercleave is going to be like the card that that's going to kill us if they have that again. That could kill us. You know, we have all those Claim the Firstborns. Um, you know, now we have some Legion's Ends. Uh, Priest of Forgotten Gods can also get some work done here. And then obviously Mayhem Devil can ping off a bunch of creatures. I don't hate this matchup. Yeah, if we were on the play, yeah, our Butchers would have dominated that game. That's true. If we were on the play. They, you know, they go turn one Gutter Bones, and then we go Butcher, get a counter. I mean, they would just have to hold back their their gutter bones, I guess. They just wouldn't have been attacking. Yeah, claim the firstborn versus rotting register does sound pretty sweet. All right, we're starting with the evolving wild. Since that land's always going to come into play tapped. This would be a good claim the firstborn hand to pair with Heartfire. Even though getting a swamp would turn on the castle. We need to get Mountain because of Torbran. <laughs> Let's see, I was like, well, blocking here, the only card that, that hurts is Black Lance Paragon. Obviously, the very next card, Black Lance Paragon. We didn't really see a night theme from them at all with like the gutter bones and stuff, and I was like, they're probably not playing that. They're probably, don't, you know, what they do. They probably don't have it. Oh well. Eleven.
Just one red mana as far as Embercleave goes. Hmm. The problem is we have to, we do have to just um, announce where all of these triggers are going. And so I don't get to just do like the four to the knight and then see if they pump. And if they pump, then I do two more to it. And if they don't, then I do the, t the two to the bone crusher giant and I could just do all three to the bone crusher giant and kill both of them. But I think we just have to get knight of the ebon legion out of here. We can just trade one for one with bone crusher giant and mayhem devil. Chandra would be a really good draw. Chandra, like, giving me, like, the two creatures and everything. That would be a great draw. Torbrand, you're missing all your friends. I killed all my friends. just such a bad attack but i really don't have good i really don't have good plans because they they get cast because they have castle advantage I'm just doing like one damage and taking all of this I don't get to. Yeah, we're just in such a rough spot. Life's been better. Let's draw red mana. We got everything. But red mana. We need puppy. Yeah, 
Yeah, that could be the problem. I'm taking that thing because it does uh, two damage, even though the Fervent Champion has first strike. Oh, wow. Lava Coil? Wow. That was not a card I was expecting. Jeez. Yeah, but we got we got another one, so we got really lucky there. Oh my gosh, they just played the war boss from hand and not the one from exile. I basically played the I was willing to play the mayhem devil here because I was like, well, they're definitely playing this war boss from exile. They just played the wrong war boss. They just played the wrong one. And no, I'm not gonna risk, you know, a shock or a rimrock giant. Killing a mayhem devil. Play the wrong one, but at that point it didn't matter. We had, we had everything. So legions end in midnight reaper out. Maybe some priests of forgotten gods out. Min keep midnight reaper. Keep that card advantage. Currently waiting, puppy. Our puppy, you gonna help us win? Gonna help us win? I know Evolving Wilds would be awesome to hold for Mayhem Devil, but right now we don't have like a third land to have untapped anyway. And I, I wanted to curve Legion's End into Mayhem Devil. You know, it's looking like we didn't need to have the Legion's End there. But we got the puppy. All right, puppy, this. This giant's trying to crush our bones. Crush our bones, puppy. Crush our bones.
All right, we got some mayhem devil value. Crusher Giant being awesome. Looks like they have Embercleave. Puppy. So how do we deep how do we beat mono bone crusher giant? I guess we don't. Rampage. Yeah, puppy, that was a tough one to watch. I agree. I kept on killing all my devils. Crushed my bones. I'm just going to be cracking the Fable Passages right away. Just thin in the deck. I definitely think the Bow Crusher or like, sorry, I think the Dreadhorde Butcher gets shocked here. If not, it probably gets stomped. I want to be able to like play it and sacrifice it. You have got to be kidding me. Well, that just makes our entire hand horrible. I'm getting the third red because it's Orbran. Makes our entire hand horrible. how today has gone bad as it could yeah we could we could read that they had a shock I should have just waited on dreadhorde butcher Can we stop drawing lands? It's already eight lands. Stop. 
These two got lands out of the deck. At least we get a three for two. Trade our Heartfire and our Judith for three things, including one of those Bone Crusher Giants. Get that thing out of here. But the problem is I don't have anything else. So keeping Evolving Wilds means that we have it to, to sacrifice if we draw Mayhem Devil. But getting rid of it also means that we take a land out of the deck and have a little bit chance of better of drawing a land or drawing a spell. It's really only good with Mayhem Devil. There's only four Mayhem Devils. Yeah, MC, I am. Hey, good call. So small victories. If that's just if war boss is a normal creature there, I'm waiting until I can I can claim it and then sacrifice and kill another one of their creatures with Heartfire. But war boss is the type of creature that that you know takes over if you if you don't get rid of it. So like if they just have you know like they're sitting with a bunch of cards in hand they just use removal for mayhem devil and then start attacking with war boss like that's that's just a big problem for me so we just have to two for one ourselves to kill the war boss All right, we've we've gotten rid of nine or ten lands. Gotten rid of ten lands. There's only fourteen in the other forty-two cards. Yeah, Ember Cleave's pretty rough. I put two Rampages in the deck to make them sacrifice an artifact. No. And even with Puppy. Yeah, I still, yeah, I couldn't block there because of Castle. Yep, used all my good good draws against chat yesterday. This may be the lowest percent I've ever been. I don't know if I've ever been lower. I may have been. I may have been like 89%. I don't know. At some point.
instincts like playing priest first is like what you want to do, but against basic island, maybe I need to be getting Dreadhorde Butcher in play right there where it's going to resolve and start getting counters on Dreadhorde Butcher. First slot tomorrow. Cool. Yep, will do. So 3 o'clock tomorrow, Esper Control. Awesome. Esper. Thank you, Ray Day. Yeah, we tried bringing out Puppy for some puppy luck. That didn't help. I think we're going to win this one by my opponent timing out. I think that's how we're going to win this. Sambin! Thanks for resubbing there, Sambin. I wanted to draw land to be able to double spell with Reaper and Gutter Bones. That didn't happen, though. This is Beautifully Unconventional by Wolf Alice. Oh my gosh, you've got to be kidding me. How are we taking infinite time to make any decision whatsoever? With us being stuck on lands, I tried, you know, basically getting rid of one of their lands, drawing another card, seeing if we would draw a land. But we did not. And we're not gonna yeah, Night Pack Ambusher could definitely come in there, but we're not gonna we're not gonna win this if we just sit back and do nothing. 
And if I if I play my spells first and then they play Frilled Mystic, then I don't get to. Um, yeah, and then then it, I don't really don't want to have Midnight Reaper trade with Frilled Mystic. I wish we had one more land. Ugh. Should have targeted one of these things. Are you going to help us? No. My worst case scenario is that they have another night pack ambusher. If they don't have ambusher, they don't have a second one of those, we're fine. Nope, they have another one. Because that's how today is. McLam, though. Keeping the sport going. Thank you so much there, McLam. Oh, that's sub number 16 on the day. I'm one behind. Steal that, steal that. So basically if they have a counter spell for Torbrand now I lose, but I don't I don't really see how I'm supposed to win this. I guess if I go if I take the Frilled Mystic and take a wolf, or just take take two wolves, they're only two power though. Attack out, they go block block, they only take eight. I guess I have to I have to take a Frilled Mystic and a wolf. Oh, but I guess I have the cauldron familiar too. Oh, thank you so much there, Funko Geist. Thank you. Well, y'all are y'all are bringing your a game. Y'all are subbing and we got donations and stuff too. Y'all are sure trying to help out. I appreciate that.
So we're gonna draw four cards. We have to find something to kill Ambusher. So obviously, we can't just like really sit back. Dang, those are miserable four cards. I guess you. Because if we just sit back there, like the ambusher is going to kill us. So it doesn't get better. Yep, I think we're running this on my opponent timing out. I think that's our, our best shot. Alright, you want to go back, puppy? Okay. Go back. Opponent still hasn't attacked. Alright, so I don't want to claim the Firstborns, but besides that, uh, we're going to play a couple of Grasp, some Duress. Honestly, this isn't a very good Torbrand matchup either. It's just hard to resolve Torbrand and have everything else resolve and everything like that. Um... The reason why I like Am Angrass Rampage is because it gives us something to kill Nyssa. Need those things to kill Nyssa. They don't play Cutthroat or Sailor. Simic Flash doesn't play Cutthroat or Sailor anymore. It's just all it's just all Paradise Druid, Grow Spiral, and then the four drops in Nyssa and Krasis. Legion's End would hit Krasis. But... One land. All 
I'm going to keep all three lands. I'm either going to put back Witch's Oven or Priest of Forgotten Gods. I think that means Witch's Oven. Probably Devil getting bounced. That's what I expect. Let me write this down for tomorrow. Oh, you're welcome, Balding Yeti. Glad you're glad you're enjoying the historic stuff. Good. Would have been a great time for our own uh, fetch land as well to play the mayhem devil play a fetch land and um, get rid of the crisis oh nice the letters glad you're liking the histor the grixis list We'll, tra we'll trade the priest for both of their creatures and plus give us a food token that we get to activate frogify so do I want to do two damage or draw a card probably want to draw a card and I guess I should have just done this pre-combat game. I 
All right, I'm gonna get the other Midnight Reaper back in to get some extra cards. Uh, I'm gonna take out Torbrand. All right, we got a game. Can we get a match? Can we get a match? Can we get a match? No, we haven't pulled off Tor Brand combo yet. I think the five color ever after deck is good. Even though we went 03 with it, I think that deck was good. Nope. Yeah, we have have had a lot of opponents with Stop. With some yeah, that they've had pretty nice hands. That can be brutal. Let's draw Dreadhorde Butcher, please. Please draw Dreadhorde Butcher. Stop that bubble. They can name Fabled Passage to get rid of two cards from my hand. That's why I went with the Evolving Wilds, because I wanted to play uh, Dreadhorde Butcher turn two. I wanted to have that opportunity to. You know, we miss. Yeah, you know, I could have gone Swamp Cauldron Familiar. We missed one point of damage there with the Cauldron Familiar. Attacking. Go. That's a good card. <clears throat> Keep thinning this deck. I like having Duress lead before Midnight Reaper. Double Ether Gust. Huh. The thing is, I kind of want to take the Nissa, even though that, even though like, I could take Quench and then my Midnight Reaper resolves. But Nissa is going to be like how we would lose this. I mean, obviously the Nightpack Ambusher is going to be killing us too, though. I guess I think I am supposed to do this. And then I think I'm supposed to get aggressive with Castle Embrith. I 
and hope they don't draw two lands or any lands and just try try to win the game before they draw lands basically <laughs> with castle and breath no stop brutal Yeah, because playing the Judith, because if they either guess the Judith, then they know to play Ambusher. Come on, and they just draw two straight lands. Obviously, they have the Aether Gust for the Heartfire, so I can't just cast it. But this is over. Guess I need to take the Nissa. Just drew back to back lands. I am definitely not sideboarding out Witch's Oven in this matchup. Just because they may have Spyglass that they bring in and, and may be able to name it with Spyglass. I'm not going to take out cards to my best combo of winning with Cauldron Familiar, Witch's Oven. Yep, opponent's playing so slow.
Yeah, like, I, I don't know how I'm gonna really deal with this Nissa right now. Nissa and the Ambusher. Oh, I just realized I can't activate Castle Lock Twain. Or Castle Embrith. Yuck. Should have shocked with the blood with the blood crypt. I was hoping to draw a land with this other one so I could activate Castle Embrith also. Um, could have helped a little bit. So now we just got to deal with an ambusher, which I don't, don't really know how we're doing that either. Yeah, Chandra Spike last, so I don't get to recast like the Heart Fire or anything. I don't have an out. Even if I even if I draw a Noxious Grasp off Castle, I'm still taking. No, I'm not taking Lethal. No, I do survive with Noxious Grasp. So that's that's the one card in my deck. We have two Noxious Grasp. We have to draw one of those two. Because this this switches up and this doesn't this doesn't keep us alive here. Noxious Grasp. Ugh. I thought that was it. Thank you, her heroes. Thank you.
Oh, this has been painful. I mean, I guess if I if I would have um, if I would have uh, if I would have taken the Nissa, who knows? Maybe I could have you know could have maybe killed like their four four with the heart fire. If I would have taken the Nissa with the duress, um, I had a plan, you know that involved them not drawing land land with that castle empress. I had a plan. Plans go awry though. Overgrown tomb. Hey, plumber. Auto tap. I don't know how we're going to lose this one yet, but all we know is that it's the most likely scenario. We're playing against the slowest players today. Just making the <clears throat> the struggling even worse.
Well, I just messed that up. I had lethal there. I just already went to attacks. But I could have just claimed the firstborn my own devil. So I could have had lethal. I just went to attacks right away. All right, we won a game. We won a game. All right, I do like Legion's End in this matchup. I'm gonna take out Heartfire. You have a good feeling about this one? <laughs> well, we've we've won we've won a lot of games, but we haven't won a match yet. So let's we're not on a roll yet, because we've we've won games before. All right, Snake's calling it. This is where we're winning our first match, right here. This would be a bad time to see Legion's end on my opponent's side. We found the witch's oven to go with these cauldron familiars. So that's good. Uh, hopefully no cry of the carnarium now. I'm sorry, Matthew.
and keep her. This would be a perfect time for Mayhem Devil. Darn. So yeah, now I wasn't really thinking I was going to be attacking with the Cauldron Familiars, but now I, I do wish I would have brought the Cauldron Familiars back, like this other one available to attack with it as well. I need to save with Dreadhorde Butcher. Can we get a devil? Please, devil. Doesn't do anything. Playing Torbrand just means it is just gets killed by the Cavalier of Night. That's not something I want to be playing right now. Three Love Struck Beasts, three Edge Rolling Keepers. Edge Hall Innkeeper is why I like Legion's End, but... I don't know what I'm really supposed to do with this priest. Yep, that's how it's been going. Grip. Kapeka! Thanks for the Twitch Prime sub. Got a branded new Twitch Prime sub here. Thank you, Kapeka. Y'all are still really helping out. You know, we got a, a lot of viewers in here. Um, you know, y'all are subscribing and we got donation earlier. Y'all are still definitely doing your part. Has not been my day today. Some days it is, some days it's not. I don't want to put any of these back.
Obviously, them them having like love struck beast, they put a one one out in turn play would be the worst possible scenario. Yay, temple. Let's get this dreadhorde butcher going. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they're judging harshly that. Yeah, the beat down from the the sub battle stream. I mean, I had a lot of luck during that. I guess I should be playing Mountain there, not Swamp, because we could draw Torbrand. Hawkeye's curled up on the couch. That's a lot of damage. Can we do it? Five more points. We're close, but we still got too many lands again. <laughs> we should keep the Fable Passage because of Mayhem Devil. Yeah, they could they could kill two creatures basically. Oh no, it does say destroy up to three tar creatures. Toughness to actually. Yeah, I don't know why they didn't kill the cauldron familiar. Also, I guess they would rather have the cauldron familiar in play than me drawing the card off of um, murderous rider. Awesome Legion's end here. Yeah, they could have done that the opposite way. Could have gone to Great Henge first and then Regisaur and then drawn a card. But maybe they had another big creature to play, like another Questing Beast or whatever. All right, um, yeah, we lost. That's just kind of how it went. Our 24 land deck drew lots of lands, a lot of games. Um, lead, you know, I needed Legion's End game two when they had triple edge wall innkeeper. And then game three, we drew Legion's End and they had all three drops. So it would have been the heart fire. We would have got there. 
Yeah, this looks like seems like a day that nothing works out. All right, but there we go. That's it for Tor Brand Sacrifice. And that's also going to be it for the stream tonight. I'm not going to play Grixis Kicker. Um, I am finished playing Magic today. We'll, we'll be back at it tomorrow at the normal time at 3 o'clock Eastern. We'll get that going tomorrow. Today is finished for Magic. I'm going to go get some dinner. I'm hungry. And go think about something else for a little while. <laughs> get my mind off of it. All right, uh, you know, uh, if you're watching it at, uh, if you're watching on YouTube also, you know, you, this happens with magic, you know, you're going to have rough days and just don't, don't get too discouraged about it. Um, you know, like do what I'm kind of do here, you know, just kind of get your mind off it, do something else, come back the next day and try again and, you know, play hard again the next day. Things will be better. Um, but you're just going to have like, it, it happens to everybody. So like, if you have, if you're having like a really rough day with magic um just know that 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 happens to everybody you know happens to me happens to everybody else here in chat also um and that's okay and that's just how that's just how it is but one of the best things ever created was a new day and there's just a new day tomorrow and so just um you know get back at it all right but thank you so much for watching some tour brand sacrifice still hope you uh leave those comments hit the like button over there on YouTube. I'd appreciate both of those. But thanks again for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.